axe throwing. Once a very popular pastime of lumberjacks, a fantastic stress reliever, and also probably the most unique thing you could do with your friends in Bristol. I'm Sam Bennett, and we're currently in Worcester Punks, Bristol. Um, I'm an axe throwing instructor here and I've been here for about a month and it's just going absolutely amazing. For Bristol it is kind of a brand new thing. There are activity centres where they do like archery and like a little bit of knife throwing, axe throwing stuff, but this is full axe throwing, nothing but. Sam has been axe throwing as a hobby for several years, but trust me, it's harder than it looks. So today, he's my teacher. I've been doing it for the past like five, six years almost. Um, in and out, just here and there kind of thing. Um, but I lived on the Gower down in Swansea, um, and there's not really that much to do around there apart from chop wood and hang about with your mates. So add beer into the situation, you start throwing things, you know? And that's essentially the setup at Whistle Punks, but in a slightly safer environment. You can have a drink with your friends and also learn how to throw axes from an expert. Like Whistle Punks is about bringing people together, um, just in having, good, having a good time, you know? Like having a bit of friendly competition, bit of friendly rivalry, um, but all in all having a great time at the end of it. So as we've already established, axe throwing is a pretty difficult hobby to pick up. So will I be an excellent thrower or will I get the chop? Today I'm having a go at axe throwing, but there's no need to head into the wilderness. Whistlepunks have brought the sharpened blades and the target boards right into the city centre and instructor Sam is showing me how it's done. I didn't actually get it in the board, but I think I get extra points for how it's landed with that. It's not about power, it's about technique, um, which can be adjusted through the 70 minute session that we run. Um, and we do tend to get a lot of people that want to come back as well. Definitely addictive. Yeah, once you've stunk that first axe, you definitely want to keep going. Nice. Third, third attempt. Third attempt. Yeah. Third time lucky. And after that, I can give the trick shot to go, but it looks like my beginner's luck has run out. There's, there's two throws that we teach in the session, and there's a one-handed throw and a two-handed throw. It's kind of like Ron Seal, it does exactly what it says on the tin, you know? Like you've got one hand on the axe for the one-handed, two hands on for the two-handed. Um, you basically just hold it above your head, a little bit like this, um, and then just step forward and throw. And it's, yeah, it sounds a lot easier than it is, but once you've got it, you want to do it again and again. It's been amazing, yeah. Obviously around Christmas time, we've got a lot of, um, like staff Christmas parties coming in, which is brilliant. Um, keeping us nice and busy, keeps the um, social media up to date as well, which is really good. But um, yeah, it's, it's coming along nicely, really nicely. Well, it was baby steps at first, but after getting into the swing of things, an afternoon of axe throwing was excellent fun. 